hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can store and retrieve array list of string and array list of object inside an entity so for that i have already created a ui so basically that's my first video when i show you the uh, room database example so in that i already have a ui and our dao already created which have two function uh, one entity which already have three columns name phone email and uh, i already created the database as well in this i'm going to insert another column that is the hobbies which is going to uh, hold the array list of string type so i'll show you how you can store array list instead of creating a separate table or the whole object how you can store in the room database so i have already added one more column so for that we need to create a separate class that is known as the type converter so with the help of type converter in the room we can store whole object inside the entity so let's create this class and see for that we need uh, one more type converter a notation then we need to create a function so this function will take input as a value which is going to be the string and it will return the array list of string type And we need another function with the same annotation the function give it any name it's not mandatory to choose this name so you can give any name and it will take as a input as a array list And it is going to return a string now let's implement these functions so we need JSON so let's add the JSON dependency first similarly you can go to the project dependencies add library and give it a name in the small JSON and search the first one the Google one we need to implement let it be sync now okay our project is sync let's import this there you go call this function from json and pass our value which we take from the input it need another parameter that is the type so let's define the type as well And now pass this list type as a second parameter and here we need to return just the string so json dot to json and pass the input list now we need to use this class in our database class so copy this name 
go to our database yeah under the database annotation we need to write another annotation that is the type converters so make sure there we have converter and here we are going to use type converters and then the pass the same class name so since we change our entity so we need to make some changes in our activity and the adapter as well so in activity we need to now and when we are restoring user data that time we need to insert the hobbies as well so currently i'm going to hard code those hobbies so i'm not putting it in a ui so i'm just hard coding when we are inserting user information at that time we will insert couple of hobbies in the array list in your case you can have any kind of a data you can take from the user input so just for keep this video as much as short i'm just putting it in a, as a hard coded now pass this hobbies to the entity and according to the adapter we need to display so let's just make this a small change on our adapter row so that we can see what we are retrieving go to the adapter now and now set the hobbies on the recycler row Just I'm putting whole array list. Let's run and see how it looks like. So it crashed. Basically, we made a schema change, but we did not migrate it. So now we need to migrate as well. So I'm not going to do that but what i'm going to do i'll uninstall the application so that it will clear the previous stored database and at the time when we'll run this at that time he'll create new schema so i already have that video on place on my youtube channel like how to migrate the data tables if you make any change so you can go through with it if you need to migrate it so i'm just uninstalling and now running it So now it's successfully installed with the new schema. So let's create some record. There you go. So you, now you can see the hobbies also. Whatever hobbies we hard coded in the array list, and we are able to successfully retrieve it on UI. So I'm going to store different hobbies for the new user. So now we'll create another user for that we'll see different hobbies. So let's add four hobbies for this user so that we can easily differentiate on our row. Let's run it and see. There you go. So I'm adding new record. So new record will go with the new hobbies. There you go. So Donna have new hobbies and that is four hobbies. So we are just displaying it whole array list. So this is how you can use store array list but now I'm going to change it from the string type to the object type so that if you have multiple 
records in an array list or you are storing multiple items then you can use this approach so i'm creating another data class of hobbies where i'm just going to keep one string hobby now i'm commenting out this uh, type converter class and i'm going to create new type converter class for hobbies and type converter is very important in android development if you don't want to go with the uh, don't want to create multiple relations and all you can directly store the object So similarly, I, I put one a notation type converter and then creating a two function same as we did for the string Only thing we need to pass instead of a string we need to pass the object of the class name of the data class same as we are going to use the json and json dot to json and from json functions That's it and now we need to put this converter in our database class And now we need to change our array list to the hobbies type instead of string type And now each row of array list will contain the object of hobbies So let's make those changes accordingly Same as we need to make the change in adapter. Oh no, we, we already um, displaying the whole hobbies array list, so we don't need to make change. Yeah, that's it, and uh, let's run it. Let's uninstall it. Yeah, let's run install uninstall it so that we can clear all all data and we can display it as a new data let's run it and see yeah it's an install let's run it and see it again crash uh, i think we made some mistake Let's review our entity. Okay, I got it. So we missed the annotation of type converter from the 
json to list function let's add it and run it that's all is good yeah that's it run it there you go let's add a new record there you go so now we can print whole hobbies object all array list on a one text view with the each hobbies object let's change some hobbies to different hobbies for the new record let's run it so now ready let's add new record there you go so with the new hobbies we can see so guys that's all for today's video and thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you